Now, if you guys like this style of video, please let me know. Uh, this is something different that I've done that I'm doing on the channel. I wanted to see if you guys enjoyed something like this, if it's more uh, informative. Um, if it is, you know, please give it a like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think. Hit that bell for all the notifications so you guys know whenever we're posting content. And um, so we'll start here with the Fujito deck. And um, this is the Fujito leader. Uh, he, he becomes Super Saiyan Blue Fujito um, Godhood Transcended. So this leader on the um, on his non-awakened side, when this card attacks, you draw one. Um, if it's your opponent's turn, when one of your blue unison cards would be placed in the drop area, or one of your blue battle cards is removed from the battle area by an opponent's skill or KO'd, you may flip this card over if you do draw two. So you have a secondary uh, awakening clause that you can do, uh, which is really, really awesome. This allows you to basically awaken as early as turn two. Now obviously, if you're playing against Vegito, the, your opponent should know to not, you know, try to help yourself awaken that early. Um, but sometimes it's going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, there are some cards in the deck that you play them, your opponent kind of needs to remove them or else they're just going to continuously just take damage. But this is a way for you to uh, basically self-awaken almost every game, like turn two, turn three. Um, if you do awaken up four life, you become an untap one, draw one. Um, so you have two different self-awakening abilities, which is extremely interesting, especially for a blue leader. <sighs> so when this card attacks on the awakened side, you draw one, and then you have an activate battle, which you can choose one of your blue unison cards and give it 10k power and triple strike for the battle. So necessarily making your unison card kind of one of your game finishers. Uh, your auto uh, once per turn if your opponent if it's your opponent's turn when one of your blue unison cards is placed in the drop area or uh one of your blue unison uh, battle cards is removed so basically the 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 self-awakening effect from the first from the front side you could switch up to one of your mono blue energy to active mode and draw one so this allows you to use the same sort of effect if they are remo moving your board you actually get more resources back so you get replenished on a lot of the stuff that you may have not have had uh and you get to draw a card so very very strong you basically get to draw on your turn and on your opponent's turn um, if they decide to be aggro against you all right so this is the actual structure deck that you will be purchasing whenever these uh, decks come out uh, this is the exact number count and everything of this deck so you have 4d magic um, this is your negate allows you to reach the end to energy also has a sparking effect which is very nice Trill in the cunning um, I, it looks like every every deck almost uh, the structure deck are getting this card um, except for black this allows you to draw a card and then if uh, the turn player is using a battle card extra card to restand energy they can't unless they choose two five cards from their drop area and send them to the warp so very interesting uh, you have my which is your searcher for uh, using cards or for um, for trunks uh, future cards you have this one drop here which allows you to um, you play it and you can play out a two drop uh, sand card from your hand uh, with the seals negated in rest mode uh, so it allows you to get some board presence. Um, I'm trying to think of what card you would probably do that within this deck. Probably, probably this one here or this one. So these two, uh, when they die, they have actually they actually have KO effects. So it's pretty nice. Um, this one is your self awakener. When this card uh, when this card attacks, you can give it a basically becomes a 15k combo. I mean, it becomes a 15k power, and you get to self awaken when this card dies. You search the top seven for a two drop unison. This is your other self awakener. This is your double strike um, a one drop, the Vegeta. You have two weak coercions, which are negates that restand energy. You have four Mize, which come out for free. Um, if you have a trunks in your battle area or leader area, and this card also is a blocker. You have your super combo, which uh, when you combo with this card, you draw one. So if you combo with it from anywhere, you basically draw one. Um, you have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Heroic Warrior. This is uh, when you give a blue blue Saiyan uh, leader. This card gains crit, so it's a 15k crit. And when this card is KO'd, you draw one, and then you um, add one blue unison from your drop area with, with a specific cost of two. Add it to your hand. Uh, you're wide open. A counterplay. Opponent plays a card with four or less. You return it to its hand instead of being played. Very strong. Uh, Raging Spirit Sun Gohan. It's a one cost 10k combo. That once you're done combo withing it, uh, the card comes in rest mode. Uh, quick shift Majin Buu, uh, very very old card. It used to be really dominant. Uh, it's a 10k combo for one energy. 
you pitch two cards into your deck, shuffle, then you draw two. Super Saiyan 2 Trunks. Uh, this is a unique card from the new set. If a unison card in play, it becomes a two drop. It's a two drop 20k. Um, when you're, if your leader is a blue, I don't think, I don't think this card comes. I don't know why I th thought this card comes in it. I think this is a different card. Uh, but uh, at the end of your opponent's turn, you draw one, um, and then this card gains 10k and triple strike. I don't think this card's in there. I think maybe that this that was a misprint on their part. I copied this directly from their website. Um, in Gogeta Pursuit of Power, this is your unison. They give you two in here. And if your leader's blue, blue Saiyan, and you have a blue Saiyan card um, in rest mode, your your uh, your leader can't take damage from attacks. And then has a uh, has a zero plus uh, active, which you choose your leader or a battle card switch to the rest mode at, at a marker. And then you have a minus two active, which is where you draw. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost greater than their current energy, ignoring barrier and place at the bottom of their deck. So it gives you some very good board removal. This deck currently runs for about $20, $22. Um, so basically you're paying whatever the price is for the deck, like 15 bucks for $21 worth of cards. Um, obviously this is not a super competitive deck. This is just, uh, the structure decks are made to give you a base of something to go off of. Um, so we're gonna use some of these cards as a base and then try to work our way up to try to make something of a, uh, of a more respectable deck that we can play at our locals. So this is a uh, deck that I came up with that is sort of a mid-range, it's kind of like a mid-level deck. Um, has a lot of counterplays, a lot of things that you can use. Um, so we'll kind of go over the new changes. So, well, first of all, we'll go over the cards that we kept. Um, so we kept D Magic. Obviously, this is a great, <clears throat> a great, great card for blue. You should always run it as four. It's one of the best negate. It is the best negate for blue. Um, we still run the Super Saiyan Blue Sun Gokus and the Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas. We run a, a total of five, so three of the Gokus for the Vegeta. We run um, what's left of the older stuff. Uh, we run the Vegeta Self Awakeners. This card's great when you play it. You can just keep taking a life, and your opponent's gonna have to, gonna have to remove this card eventually because it's a double strike. So once they get rid of it, then you can awaken. Um, we still use the Sun Gohan um, uh, Accelerated Slam, which is the super combo. And we still use the Gogeta Pursuit of Power, but we are using four of them. Um, every deck, generally a deck should be running three or four of these anyways. Um, you know, Unisons are gonna be a big staple in decks now. And having those access to these cards um, at any point in the game is great. If you only run two of them, you're, once they're gone, you mill them, they rip from your hand, you're never going to see them again, then you don't have access to unison. So it's really, really difficult. So four is pretty good, I feel. Um, now for the new changes, there are lots of new changes. So for one, we'll go over the top stuff here. Um, we have Absolute Release Ball. Desperate Measures and Sensumi. So absolute release ball if your life is at four. If your opponent plays a three or less, you can bounce it back to their hand and restand an energy. I think this um, and, with and with Desperate Measures is better than your wide open. So your wide open is a two, the two energy. Um, these obviously they don't hit four or lesses, but there's not a lot of cards that are coming down that are uh, four energy. That you may want to bounce back there's there's some of course there's some but this just allows you to bounce back threes um this obviously you don't have the ability to play out the second effect with the multicolor but it's okay we can just play it out for one bounce a three drop back and then restand an energy this one allows us to do the same thing we bounce back a two or less and then we can choose one three or less from our hand and return it to our hand so if we want to bounce um, this card back here, if we want to bounce this back, this back, you can bounce any of these cards back. Um, and then four Sense of Bean, because we're playing blue, it's, Sense of Bean's a great card to have in blue. Um, some other cards, we have East Kai. This is one of the very cool blue cards that uh, a lot of people think are starting to play now, uh, at least more. Uh, you play it, you draw one, and during your turn, when your opponent plays a battle card, your opponent chooses one card in their hand and bottom decks it. So very, very strong. They can't basically they counterplay you, they counterattack with a battle card, they have to bottom deck a card. Um, and we run two Master Roshis, a Universe 7 United, it's just a negate, it's a blue negate. Uh, this can be switched out for anything. This is like a three, four dollar uncommon card from Dropbox 4. So you can play anything, but I just played it because it's blue. Um so newer cards. We have these two these two uh, Goku and Vegeta's here. So we have uh, Vegeta Energy Absorber. Uh, it's a two drop. Uh, anytime one of your energy is switched to active mode. 
uh, on your opponent's turn once per turn you can draw so we have this we have this we have sensu bean um we have leader effect we have lots of ways to be able to restand energy so basically once you restand an energy once per turn you draw if the if this effect goes off you draw an effect you draw a card from this restand an energy and you draw a card from this so you get to draw two in your opponent's turn very very strong uh, and we run um, this um, Comrades Combined Son Goku. This card is actually getting reprinted in the new special um, anniversary boxes. We play this, look at the top seven, choose up to one blue Fujita among them with an energy cost three or less and play it in rest mode, then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck. So this allows us to play out this card here. This allows us to play out this card here and allows us to play this card out here. Um, it sits in rest mode, so we can't use this effect. This, this card still comes in the same way that the trunks would allow us. Um, and same with this card, we can play it out. Some really strong counter plays that we run in the deck. We run two hit Deadly Vanguard. This is why we don't need to run um, your wide open because we have hit. So hit bounces back two five drops. One, ignoring barrier. Second one, ignoring deflect. So they play a card, it has barrier. We can hit this and it bounces the card back to its hand. When this card hits the board, we can then choose another battle card five or less and bounce it back to their hand. So we can basically just help clear their board. Uh, and it comes out for three on your opponent's turn. Four of the Super Saiyan Trunks, uh, basically his Mufuba technique. You have a blue unison card and play two or less. You can activate this card skill from your hand. So basically what you do is you may discard this card from your hand when you activate it. If you do, the, the, the battle card being played is returned to its opponent's hand. Um, if, if you don't, you play this card. So uh, it's a free bounce back. Uh, if your opponent plays Xeno Cell, play this, bounces the card back. If they play... Victory Strike, bounce it back to their hand. You you can bounce back literally any card in the game unless it has Deflect. Uh, obviously, Xenocell has Deflect, so you can't use it on Xenocell, but you know what I'm talking about. You, there's a lot of cards in the game you can basically just play this and just bounce it back to their hand, and it's free. Um, if the card is being played is not returned to the hand, you can still play it for free, uh, just because the 15k card is pretty good. Um, so... I had to redo this because uh, since Gogeta 7 got banned, I had Gogeta 7 in the deck uh, for these two targets, but we still have Gogeta 5, still a very, very good Gogeta card. Uh, you fuse uh, from your hand from two Goku, uh, a Goku or Fujita with 15k power. So you have five Goku, uh, five Fujita targets, and you have three Goku uh, targets here. Uh, they fuse into this. When you play this out for three, uh, Sparking 5, which you're going to have, we should have Sparking 5. Um, you draw two and then you bottom deck two of your opponent's battle cards and it's 25k double strike card very very strong gives you some good pressure for the mid game um, just all in all a decent card and it's cool to look at um, we have master Roshi maximum muscle this is one of the deck finishers this is a six drop when you play it uh, you bottom deck two of your opponent's battle cards and then it's crit dual attack barrier so a lot of things can't target it and it can swing twice for 25 crit super strong and at the end of your turn you draw one so the idea in this deck is to basically have enough cards on the on, on the board where we're able to just draw from them consistently so we can draw if we have this down in this town we're drawing um you know three times on our main turn uh once from the you know the auto once from it's swinging once from this at the end if we have this on on, on our on our turn on our opponent's turn this activates we draw and then we draw one from this so we get to draw two very good Nothing's better than hand size. The last card in this deck is Android 17, Turning the Tide. Came out of the new draft box. What this card is, it's Crit, Deflect, 7 Drop. And when you play this card, you choose all the cards in your hand and your opponent's hand and all battle cards in your opponent's um, drop area. Uh, and all, all cards in your opponent's drop area. Uh, and you shuffle them back into their deck. So it basically just removes their entire... It basically removes both, both players' hands. If you, have, if, you, if you have a really small hand, your opponent has like, you know, 18 cards in hand, you play this changes the changes the course of everything because they lose their entire hand and they don't draw off of this kind of like they did with gogeta <sighs> now price wise um deck is running about 180 dollars now as i said some of this is a little higher so you see right here um for the four trunks cards it's 80 dollars this card's not out yet it may be 80 dollars for four of them it may it may not be Basically, these are 20 cards. These are $20 a pop. It may not be. It may, they may be $10. They may be more. But as of right now, they're $80. 
um, and then the Fujitas are 14 bucks. So if you take away this trunks, the, how much this trunks card is, about $100 for the deck. Um, not not a terrible deck. Um, gives you has a very straight line focus on what you want to do. Um, let me know what you guys think of this deck idea. So for my tournament style deck, I decided to go a little bit heavier. Uh, we decided to go with multicolor uh, because it's very strong still. Um, so the same kind of idea. We still use absolute release ball, desperate measures, uh, D Magic, East Kai, Sensu Bean, and the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Um, but we don't use the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta anymore. Uh, we still have the the double strike Vegeta here, but a lot of these cards have been replaced with multicolor. So uh, we'll start here at the top. So this card here, if all of our energy is blue, uh, when we combo with this card, you get 15k. And then if all your energy is blue, if it's your turn, you draw one. If it's your opponent's turn, you restand. So this is a Whis Coercion. Essentially, it's not a negate. You just get to combo 15, restand that energy. Or if it's your turn, you combo 15 and draw. Um, so we run three of those. Uh, we have Beerus Pickle Gods, which are going to be our main charging target because it is a check land. Uh, we have Frost Deadly Poison and Gein and Martine, which are our two um, basically neutralizers. So this neutralizes any card without uh, without deflect when it's played. Card comes in rest mode. All the skills are negated. You draw one. If you're you three, if you're three life or less, you get to restand an energy. Um, this. You play it for three. If your opponent's playing a card that's five or less, you negate all of its skill for the turn. And then this has Aegis, which on your turn here, if you pitch a blue and yellow card or a blue yellow card, you get to restand two energy and draw two because of the Aegis effect. So very, very good defensively as well. We have uh, Bojack, the arrival Bojack, which allows you to arrival out for a blue yellow. You tap down a battle card and you make your opponent mill a card and it's a 20k blocker. Very strong. Bojack Negate, same idea. This comes out for one if you have a blue yellow multicolor uh, card in your energy. Comes out for one, negates the attack, your opponent mills the top card of their deck. Very strong again. Uh, still running four Gogetas, but we're also running two Super Saiyan Go Tanks. Um, so this idea is that Gogeta is sort of our early mid game um, unison card. And once we can pull out Go Tanks, um, we will. So we can play them out for four. He gains four markers. Uh, we can then take away two markers to draw two, or we can take three, take away three markers to bottom deck two of our opponent's battle cards, ignoring barriers. So the same kind of idea as the Gogeta card. So something that you can do uh, when you have this card down, let's say you only have two markers left. You can pay the two markers, draw a card, bottom deck one of your opponent's battle cards, get rid of the Gogeta, tap four, play out Gotenks, uh, and then tap three, and then you know pitch two more cards from their board. So you basically get the clear board of three cards, even if they have barrier. Uh, for four energy uh, This card is also blocker and dual attack. So with our leader since our leader can give 10k and triple strike for the turn for the battle Basically, we can swing with this card here. It's a 20k already. So it becomes a 30k triple strike Pretty strong and then we can restand it and then if we have two more energy we can do it again make him another 30k triple strike um, For Zamasu super combos uh, Best blue yellow super combo. Obviously, it's the only one but uh, you get the tap down leaders, you can tap down battle cards, uh, put them in rest mode, um, and also is used for your arrival. We run uh, two, two of the hits still, just because they are an extremely good blue card. And three of the Abunis. Now this card is more of a uh, of a pusher. So you pull, you play this, you get to play three tokens, and then you get to resand an energy um, at the, uh, the start of your opponent's next main phase. Now obviously if we still have that Vegeta energy absorber, we can play, we, if we have that on the board as well, when we restand this energy with this, we get to draw a card off of the Fujita. Still pretty strong. Same thing with Aegis, same thing with Frost Deadly Poison. Um, and then the last card we run, we run the Secret Rare, the Power of Patora, um, Fujito. So when this, when you, when, if your opponent has six or more uh, energy or has six or more cards in rest mode, this card becomes a five drop. So when you play it, you choose four of your opponent's cards, switch, switch from the rest mode, not ignoring barrier, but then you draw four. You play it, you tap four cards, you draw four, and now you have a triple strike on board. Uh, pretty hard to get over that at that point. Now, this deck here runs a little bit more. This is almost a $500 deck here. Um, some of the big cards, Power Batora was not $140 when I was starting to make this deck idea. It was like 70, so it, it flew up in price. So that's just kind of how quickly this stuff happens. Three Boonies, about $100, that's about right. It's a Dropbox five card. Same thing with the Guinees being 36. Uh, so this is a more expensive deck here. As you see, the two Gotenks are 50 bucks total. Uh, it's pretty high. I don't think they're going to be that much. They, they may. 
but we'll see. But this deck here is more so if you're looking for something to run at a regional, if you're going to go play at a box tournament or a team tournament, uh, and you want to have a really strong deck that you want to play and succeed with, this is a good idea for that. Now, let, uh, all these decks, uh, they can be found on on um, my DBS decks. Um, they're all on there as well. Uh, just look up, you can look up the Kyle Chris stuff. Um, you can look up all my deck profiles there. Um, but make sure you guys like the video. Subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of these sort of videos and the content so I can, uh, you know, continue to keep helping you guys out. Um, giving you guys some you know, interesting deck ideas you guys can work with. Uh, they may be good, they may, they may not be. But you guys let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.